it was the morning of the uh, school athletics that I woke up and my body felt like it had seized up. I couldn't move my joints and I was in a whole lot of pain. I remember dragging myself out of bed and, and pulling myself up the hallway, trying to stand myself up against the wall and, and leaning against it to stay upright. I called out to mum to come and help me and, and she thought I was just putting it on, trying to get out of athletics. They took me up to Whangarei Hospital um, and they diagnosed me with rheumatic fever. Pretty, pretty scary when you knew that it was something to do with your heart. I grew up in Whangarei. I was always active, a really healthy kid. We were out there on our bikes or playing rugby league in the backyard, kicking goals. Uh, you name it, we did it. We'd be out running around, playing in the dark, trying to convince mum and, uh, that we could see <laughs> when we couldn't, um, avoiding her calls for us to get inside for dinner. The biggest worry that I had in, in my childhood days was missing out on playing rugby league. It was, it was just part of who I was. The doctors, the specialists said, I'm so sorry, but I've got bad news for you. Your son will never, ever play contact sports again. I was put on a course of uh, penicillin injections for 10 years, uh, monthly injections. It took me about two years before I got back to doing the things that I was uh, before I became sick. If I hadn't have been that kid that was too scared of missing out on sport and told mum uh, and dad when I had a sore throat, I may have avoided the whole thing altogether. The silly thing was I thought I'd miss out of sport for a weekend, I ended up missing out on it for years. We never ever thought he would play sports. I mean, you know, we didn't know what options he had yeah. with his life. It's a miracle, look what he's achieved since getting over his um, sickness and, and where he ended up, you know, so he proved the doctors wrong. Uh, I played for New Zealand, I represented Tonga. Um, I played for 11 years with the Vodafone Warriors. The fall. <laughs> My daughter's um, almost nine now and I look at her and, and I think back to when I got sick as I was nine years old. It would crush me if, if she was to go through what I went through uh, or even worse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come back here at the fence. Back with me. The thing I love about junior rugby league is you see these kids and they have hopes and passion and they are the future and they could be warriors one day. We need to give them every opportunity to fulfil their potential. If you know your child's not well and has a sore throat, you've got to get it checked. Sore throats can lead to rheumatic fever and heart damage. Every time your child has a sore throat, please get them checked by a doctor or nurse as soon as possible. If they are given antibiotics, make sure they take them for the full 10 days, even if they feel better. If you're in Porirua or Auckland, there may be a free sore throat clinic near you. Sore throat clinics provide free assessment and treatment to children and young people aged 4 to 19. You can find a clinic by calling Healthline on 0800 611 116 or visiting this website. If you're not sure what to do, call Healthline for advice. Yeah.